All right, guys, I'm going to go into a little bit about Galapagos and also um, I'm going to put a, uh, a new Grasshopper file out on the, um, on the web that has these groups and these groups are just kind of uh, used to uh, help me organize my files and I thought you guys might like them too. So it's organized by, um, you know, organizational groups, parameters that you're kind of moving, uh, targeted uh, geometry and then baked geometry. So it just gives you easily, you can set your default color to that and then group whatever you're doing uh, according to that uh, color. So anyway, I thought you might like that. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just kind of create some kind of pseudo uh, situation, and um, and then we'll go from there using Galapagos. All right, so I'm just going to create a simple solid, and I'll start it at zero point, and I'll go say uh, 50, and 50, and then go up. 50. So I've got a perfect cube here, and um, and from there we'll start to target things. So, all right, let's get this completely organized. All right. So in uh, Grasshopper, I'm going to just going to grab a geometry component. I'm going to set it to this. I'll go ahead and hide this piece so we have this simple geometry. And then I am going to create a series of points and do um, and use the uh, 3D Veronoi uh, command um, our component. So now I need a series of points. So I can do this uh, multiple ways. I can just kind of set points in here uh, and then target them. Uh, but I want uh, kind of my end goal here is to create something that these points can be moved around and a Vinoy pattern can be kind of analyzed uh, for optimization. So I'm going to create a series of uh, sliders uh, that can. Um, be used to uh, do the same thing. So I'm going to create a slider that goes from uh, instead of 100 to uh, 0, go 0 to 50. And it's going to control the X, Y, and Z. So now I should have a point. Uh, let me get the X, Y, Z point. Okay, so it has a point, and as I move these around, it moves it in the various uh, coordinates. All right, so uh, it's probably not enough to have one. I probably want to have many. I'm not sure if I'll have I have eight, but um, anyway, now I'll start using um, my group. So this is going to be my first group. So I'm going to target to make that the color, and I'll just group this, and I'll just start labeling this. This is um, base geometry. All right. So now I have these uh, series of points. They're at the moment they're all kind of stacked because these uh, are all in the same place. But I'll just shift one of them, one variable in each one, kind of so we can get an idea of what's going to happen. All right. So I think almost messed with them all. Okay, so let's see. Highlight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like I have still have one that's stacked. 
Alright, so now I have eight points. Perfect. Alright, now we'll just use this Veronoi uh, pattern. So I'm just going to get them all into one component. And that will go into there. So now you can see what gets created. Creates this kind of uh, three dimensional Vonoi. And I can isolate each one of these. So that's that one, that one's there. Two, three, four. Alright, so the thing that I'm going to optimize is actually, um, I don't know, it's not really a great kind of use uh, of the Galapagos, but I figured um, it's, it's a good enough way to kind of show you what's kind of going on. Um, so um, what I'm going to look at, and I have no idea why you'd want to do this, but I'm going to look at kind of the volume of each one of these and try to kind of predict uh, a certain uh, volume that I would like. Uh, not each one of these, but a series of these uh, I would like it to have. So right now that one's running around almost 12,000. And we'll just go ahead and um, link this to a few of these. I think five actually will do it. In fact, I'll just get rid of those. And if we turn this off, we'll just see the five that I'm dealing with. All right, so there you can start to see almost kind of a section of these things and then the void. All right, so, and then we see the kind of what they uh, equal. So 12,000, 8,000, 19, blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's just imagine that we have a program that uh, we like. So we have like one, let's start filling this in. So one might equal, um, Let's say that that actually wants to equal 12,000. And then 2 equals, um, let's say, 6,000. And 3 equals 4,000. And let's say 4. Let's say these, the rest of these equal that 6,000. So all in all, um, all in all, these things, um, here, I'll go ahead and make this, uh, so they at least pair it up. So all in all, if, if, if I was to calculate the kind of mass of these volumes, uh, it runs around, see, uh, 12, 18, 24, so it's 48, 48 plus 6,000, so it's like 54,000, all right? So, um, and whatever's left over should be the rest of the volume of the, the box. All right, so I want to optimize it to kind of hit this. All right, now here's the problem. Uh, Galapagos, let's see. I'll just grab the 
its component. And if you go into it, you see that you get a maximum and you get a minimum. And you can also get kind of a, a uh, specific parameter it wants you to fit. So say this is, you want it to hit that 24,000 mark. We'll just put that in there. And I'll say OK for now. I haven't really hooked anything up to it. And let's just say that it's going to look at this one. And it's going to try to get this number to be uh, whatever I gave it. So let's say it's 24,000. So actually, let's put it on. I think I wanted number two to get there. So I'll just say that that one. And now let's. Now we have to give it kind of uh, what to adjust. So that's what's going to be there. So I'm just going to say all sliders. And since I have no other sliders in my um, project, uh, it's grabbed all of these. And it's going to adjust these back and forth. All right, it's going to try to hit that 12,000. It's going to do weird things to everything else. So we'll see what happens. All right. So um, here we go. Set so 24, solver, start. You can see it uh, does previews. Um, you can, right now it's displaying like all the genomes that it's uh, coming up with as possibilities, and it's really doing it like a monkey. It's just kind of moving those sliders around not being very intelligent at first and it'll slowly you'll see that it's kind of um, you know it's got a really broad brush stroke at the moment and it's slowly tapering that so it's kind of dialing in to um, the uh, perfect solution you might say and you can look at you know different displays of whether you want to see the top 50 the top 25 the top 10 percent um, it, it takes a lot of processing speed for it to kind of re preview, so you can turn that off if you want to kind of save some processing time. Um, and I'll keep working on this uh, until it gets uh, as close as it possibly can. Um, you can give it options to um, to limit the runtime uh, for some of these to get to be really long, so you can kind of say, you know, in 30 minutes, uh, give me the best solution. So I'm just going to stop it there and we look at what it found. Uh, it, it was getting really close, uh, so we're talking about this. Let me just show you what you can do here. If you didn't like that number for some reason, the others you know aren't even close to what you're kind of wanting. But I'm not sure how they would be because we really didn't give it any more information than this one. You can go through and you can kind of reinstate other options. You see that they're really all very, very close to one another. But you can see that it's changing the actual uh, uh, placement of these points. That's what the slider's doing, X, Y, and Z of all the points. It's actually shifting that and adjusting it. So you can reinstate uh, and look through kind of the top uh, um, evolutions of it. Okay, so I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to stop this video and I'll do another one and we'll get in, kind of dialing into how you might think about using uh, the rest of this information, not just that one.